Hey guys, welcome back to Game and Discuss, the video game show where I play a game and give you guys a review. Today, we are playing West of Loathing, uh, episode 4, I believe. Um, just as a heads up, oh, I forgot to, no, I'm not going to turn on the the, music, the audio yet because it's loud, but just as a heads up, next couple weeks of videos won't be edited because uh, Jamar and me both have school off, um, so yeah. I'm not going to make him work while we're on break, because that's just bad. Um, another thing, I'm playing. we're playing West of Loathing as of special request of Isaac L. He asked on one of my other videos, hey, can you do more West of Loathing? And I was like, oh yeah, totally, man. I love playing this game, so I, I see no reason why I can't play it. Um, and I was going to continue anyways, but I guess I'll do this video early because he's asking for it, so... But I am recording this a bit late. Sorry. So it'll come up, come out a bit late. Anyways, last order of business. Um, if I get 100 subscribers by December 1st, I am letting my friend wax my legs, and I'm putting it on YouTube, on here. So uh, tell your friends, tell your family, post it on wherever. Hey, go check out this channel and subscribe if you like it. Anyways, let's get into West of Loathing, one of my favorite games that we're playing on the channel uh, so far. And it's been like a week since I played it, so it's... What do I have? Oh yeah, okay. Dirt watered. You wet your whistle with dirt water bourbon. <laughs> okay. So I need to talk to everybody else in uh, dirt water. Mind you, don't step in any horse leavings, fella. This thing ain't got no shame or has no sh has. Hey, hey, you go. Hello there. Welcome to Dirt Water Mac. I didn't read it. McIntyre. Mercantile. I can read. Welcome to Dirt Water Mercantile. Sundry provision, provisions, various groceries, assorted com, 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 com a stibbles. Oh, hello. <laughs> um, did not want to, and miscellaneous provender. Cool. Ooh, okay. This is useful. Sort by meat cost, probably. Like postcard. Um, I'm going to sell him my broken board, because I don't need that. Same with... That's it. Unrefined neat meat nugget, I guess. And then I want to buy, um, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to look through, no, I'm not going to look, I'm not going to do that, that's stupid, I'll just look at them on screen, uh, advanced bean craft, read this to learn a new bean slinging skill, useful, this is a cookbook, a cookbook, specializing in bean recipes, uh, that's 500, I might take that actually, shovel, I got a shovel, what, you have one of these, yeah, I do. Disposable binoculars. <laughs> Used to discover a new map location if you can find a high vantage point. Uh, and then we got a bunch of things. I'm going to take... Okay, the handful of nails might be useful. Times was... Time was these... Time was these wouldn't have been brads, but nowadays man does not live by brad alone. What? All right, whatever. We're taking that, and I'm gonna take the advanced bean craft because I want to learn new spell. Uh, so now I have a handful of nails. Can I put that on lapel? No. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna read. It's a cookbook. There's a list of meditation techniques to help you concentrate while cooking and/or fighting. Uh, gives use the old bean, a skill that temporarily increases your mysticality during a fight. Um, it includes a chapter about making human-sized or larger autom ooh, automatons 
and binding them to your will to help with kitchen tasks gives Bean Golem a combat skill which summons a powerful golem to fight with you. I might want that. There's an article about butter and an article about beans and the juxtaposition, juxt, juxtaposition gives you an idea. Gives butter bean a spell that reduces the opponent's muscle, mysticality, and moxie. I'm going to get bean golem because I would like bean golem. You practice making servants out of beans until you're pretty good at it. Uh, fortunately, one of your early experiments got a little rowdy and eats the book. Bad. Bad golem. All right. Thanks, man. Uh, yeah, you don't have that. Okay. To Dirtwater, Post of Ice. Sponsored by LT&T. This little girl is selling flowers. I, uh, yeah, I, I want some flowers. I didn't see what that said. Uh... These flowers smell really good. This item goes in your offhand. 15% stench resistance is the old cavalry saber in my offhand. I'm gonna actually switch this for deputy pistol. Wait. What's in my offhand? Hold on. Where's deputy pistol? Okay. Uh, filthy porcelain with clay. Oh, okay. Uh, clay. Cow. No. I'm sorry, little girl. Dirtwater Post Office. Oh! Post Office, not Post of Ice. I don't know why I paused. Hold on. Give me two seconds. I'm confused. Hold on. Braille. <laughs> I don't know anything about Braille, but I'm going to look real quick. Freak. Give me 10 seconds. The Braille alphabet. Uh, okay. No. I thought maybe that the, like, this right here, the little, like, three dots was an F in Braille as well. Sponsored by lt and <laughs> One of those newfangled telegraph machines. A big cabinet of locked post office boxes. Hey, hi, I'm Game Discuss. Any mail for me? Nope. Darn. Well, I'd like to send a postcard. Alrighty, let's have it. You write a quick note to Rufus, letting him know that what you've been up to and that you're okay. That'll be, oh, uh, it's one of them prepaid ones. That'll be zero meat then. Thanks. See ya, man. Dun, dun, dun. And what do we got in the jail? The clerk clears her throat. <clears> throat. Howdy, are you the sheriff here? No, we don't currently have a sheriff. Uh, I could be the sheriff. Um, do you have law enforcement experience? Uh, not really. Have you been, a sh been to sheriff school? No. Do you have an existing relationship with Dirtwater, Dirtwater's local government? Are you familiar with all the local ordinances? Do you, do you even live here? Uh, no. Then what, may I ask, in tarnation, makes you think you'd be qualified to be the sheriff? I kind of just assumed, you know, you just assumed that you could mosey into the town and become sheriff on the first day. Well, when you put it that way, I guess not. <laughs> I don't know how, she snorts. <laughs> she snorts. <laughs> if I had five meat <laughs> If I had five meat for every wide-eyed protagonist looking kid who wanders in here thinking they'd be the most important tenderfoot to ever to eat to ever strap an iron, I wouldn't need this dead end clerking job. Sorry. Oh, clerking job. I don't know why he used it like it would be a swear word. Dead end clerking job. <laughs> it's okay. Like I said, happens all the time. Uh, I can help though. Need any help until you find a new sheriff? Sure, if you're any good with a gun. There's always somebody in need of some justice. Wanted posters are back there. Sills are over yonder. Uh, she points behind her and off to the right, respectively. She points behind her. <laughs> that would be right, but for you guys it's left. So technically that way. But anyways, take your leave. Uh, it's a wanted poster, or a wanted poster. If accuracy is important. 
says, wanted, the house in the desert gang. <laughs> For mortgage, <laughs> non-payment, squatting, and general public nu public nuisance. <laughs> also for murdering two collection agents. <laughs> Last seen at the house in the desert. 500 meat rewarded. Hmm. You wonder if the house is named after them or if they're named after the house. In any case, at least their location is unambiguous. Want to go after them? Uh, not right now. I will in a minute. It's a wanted poster. No, wait. You misread it. It's a wasted poster. <laughs> Close enough. Poster reads, Wasted. The stripy hat gang. For Grand Theft Paint and t Grand Theft Paint and Tasteless Hat <laughs> Vandalism. <laughs> Last seen in the vicinity of Cavern Canyon. 1,000 meat rewarded. Interesting. Dirty rotten paint thieves and low down no fashion. <laughs> low down no fashion sense hat vandals. Despicable. Want to go after him? Not right now. I will be back though. I'm going to come back. I'm going to check out the rest of an empty cell. Empty cell. Empty cell, empty cell. This empty cell is all ghostly. All right, <laughs> cool. I'm uh, cool. Uh, just want to say hi. Hi. Well, I best be getting back to work. She coughs at, as if to say, "You should be doing something more important." You're right. I didn't mean to walk into you. Ooh, hello, hat lady. You seem mad. Grumble, grumble. Don't. All right, I didn't read that. Whatever. A lot available. A lot available. I don't think this horse likes me. A lot available. A lot available. A lot available. A lot available. Not a lot available past this point. You saw this sign. You saw the sign. There's nothing past here. Got it. I gotta go ask about where, or not, not ask about, okay. I think that's all I got. I'm gonna, okay, nope. I'm gonna go after the house in the desert gang. Yes. You take note of the location of the house and resolve to bring the house gang to justice. Justice, you discovered a new map location. The house in the desert, you got it. Uh, stripy hat gang. Uh, Cabin Canyon, got it. Cool, 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 cool. Um, oh no, Pete. Yo, Pete. Pete looks around. This looks like a good place for a raccoon. It sure does. No, wait. <laughs> Uh, Pete looks around. This looks like a good place for a window. Um, what should we do next? Well, now, if you're in a hurry to push west, I'd... Uh, any other ideas? Pete says, you told the bartender in Jewel Saloon... In the Jewel Saloon in Dirtwater that you tried to fix their broken player... Piano player. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This guy's broken. You open the hatch and check out the machinery inside. There's obviously something wrong, given it. I have some mysticality. He recalibrates some springs and rearranges some gears, and the machinery inside starts operating smoothly. The music improves immediately. Yeah, it's no longer beep, 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 beep. Howdy, game. Anything I can get for you? Howdy. Hey, Lloyd. Uh, I fixed the piano player for you. I thought so. He sounded much better. Thanks a heap, game. I'd offer you some free room in exchange, but you've already got one. <laughs> no worries. Need any help with anything? Nope, everything's right as rain here. If you're looking for work, you might as well ask the jailhouse. You might ask the, the, at the jailhouse. All right, see ya. Wait, 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 wait. Just for the sake of because I'm bored, uh, we're going to read one of these rules. Just one. Jacks are wild unless accompanied by four threes of clubs. Got it. I'm going to learn how to play that. I'm going to play it with my friends. I'm going to search all of the rules online and then learn how to play it. Discuss game. Winnie's as you approach. Uh, Comer main. She winnies shyly. Saddle up. Let's go to... Let's go to the Desert House gang. The No, the House in the Desert gang. <coughs> um, skeleton approaches you. 
in that jittery stop motiony way that skeletons do. Judging by its hat, it appears to be the skeleton of a beanslinger. You remember the classic saying, old beanslingers die like normal people, but sometimes they keep walking around and casting spells at you afterwards. <laughs> The classic saying, <laughs> old bean slingers die like normal people, but sometimes they will keep walking around and casting spells at you afterwards. Fight that old has been. <laughs> oh, I can ride away because I have a dark horse. No. <laughs> Whoa, they're quick. Okay, that's hot, that's some hot damage. I like the music in this game. It's actually pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna also use Lava Flava. <laughs> Nearly dead. Oh, shoot! Pete! He will hit the target with his lantern, dealing six hot damage. Or, Pete will give you, or whoever, a pep top, ra raising all stats by two. <laughs> Can I have him give the <laughs> Okay. Wait, can I can he attack me? Can he attack himself? Oh my gosh, he can. Oh no, he can't attack me. Alright, just bash the dude. Wow, this guy sucks. Easy. Dead, that's what he is. You beat up a skeleton and research. And search it for loot, which is much easier with, with skeletons than with most other types of people. I got skeleton bone and bean-stained pants. <laughs> Yo, I got pants now. As you dismount and approach the house where the bandits are hold, hold up, we hear a voice from inside say, what was that? Uh -oh. Looks like you're going to have to be sneaky if you want to avoid the full -on, a full-on fracas. Sneaky is my middle name. Wait, really? Yes, sneaky is my middle name. Okay, if you say so. Thanks. I'm gonna check out the skeleton bone. You don't have a bone to pick. You don't have a bone to pick, but you do have a bone. <laughs> and my bean-stained pants. It's hard to put beans on the inside without getting beans on the outside. At least it was f for whoever's pants these were. At least it was for these whoever pants these were. Plus three spell damage. That's actually pretty good. Oh, shoot. Oh, oh, yes. Ow. Okay, wait. Okay. Wait, wait. Speed. Horse 100%. Why can't, Why is that an option? Alright, whatever. From the sound of it, you'd say this... Doghouse contains an angry dog. This doghouse contains an angry dog. Very funny. <laughs> You're not going to be able to get past it without alerting the gang inside. Ooh, I got a bone. With a knick-knack paddywhack, you would achieve... <laughs> you... <laughs> With a knick-knack paddywhack, you achieve your aim. The dog begins contently gnawing the human femur. Good for him. <laughs> Oh my gosh. It's so slow. The hinges on this gate are really rusty. If you open it, the bandits inside are definitely going to hear. Mm. Can I go around? Can I wait? It's going to take a minute. <laughs> Um, I'm not very sneaky, am I? Apparently. Fine. Whoa, they're quick. No! Crazy Pete! No! <laughs> Is he just straight up dead? <laughs>
<laughs> Why blow up nothing when you can blow up something? <laughs> uh, yeah, chuck it at this dude because he shot twice. Rufus Roughhouse. Coffee house. Oh, no. Co free. Co no, coffee house. And art house. They just straight up murdered Pete. He better not be, like, just dead. Because I will not be happy if that's the case. Giving up is the same as losing. Uh, Lava Faba on Art House, I guess. I don't know why I always do the Kamehameha thing. Freak, I'm dead. Uh, you lost. The bandits go back in the house after dispo depositing you in a heap next to Discuss Game. You get, in fact, angry. You get so angry after losing the fight that you pass out. <laughs> you wake up the next morning in your bed. Pete must have carried you back here after you got knocked out. You're a little sore, but not otherwise any worse for wear. You're pretty hungry, though, and sober. Let's mosey. Day three, you get the idea. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> what? <laughs> you, look in, you look at yourself in the mirror. Insult yourself. Insult yourself again. Okay, howdy boss, what's shaking? Uh, I'm not forgetting anything. Pete says you should deal with the stripy hat gang over in camp. Any others? Fort Cowardice. We're going to Fort Cowardice now. Because that is something I can easily do without freaking dying. Fort Cowardice. Find a wrecked bank stagecoach with a strong box in the back. It's too heavy to carry, but too locked to open. <laughs> Uh, oh, I don't have a needle. Leave it be. That's all right. I don't have any, for I don't have forgerin. Just like the old saying goes, when life gives you cannons, make cannonade. Fort Cowardice. Oh, I didn't mean to go in. Okay, well, that's all I can do. Yo, Pete, sure do look abandoned. I'll stay here and keep an eye out while you while you check out the place. Might be good scav scavenging. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Climb up the watchtower and look take a look around. Nice view from up here. If I if I get the binoculars I can go look at that. Administration, mess hall, more things. Okay, wait, hold on. You hear a sound of several goblin goblins snoring inside this tent. Go in, guns blazing. Oh, holy! Mm, well, that Pete's nearly dead. Yep, Pete's dead. Shouldn't have done this. <laughs> Surrender. <Sorry, no. laughs> Yeah, yeah. Day f wait, did that <laughs> day four? All right. Okay, okay, okay. We're going back there. We're going back to Fort Cowardice. Well, I have. Stuff? Why don't I want to upgrade anything? Why am I stupid? Oh yeah, I keep getting XP. I have 88 unspent... Why the... Why, why, why? Why do I suck so much? Upgrade my outfoxing. Hellbender. Uh, make my glamour up. Get moxie and grit and gumption. More gumption. More mysticality is a good one. And I guess muscle. And I have goblin tongue. You can communicate with goblins. And honorable. Honorable options will be available in some situations. Cool. Alright. 
Now I'm I'm more powerful. I don't know why I didn't do that in the first place. This cabinet is mostly empty, but there's a handful of boring personal records in the back of one of the in the back of one drawer. Examine them. They're incredibly boring. No, really, I want details. Fine, you read one. <laughs> First Lieutenant Rowena Hubbard, 9th Cannoneer Division, pay grade 02, uh, birthday 6 19 deceased 12-12-53, blood type O negative, and wounded in action 11-15-53. They died about a month later. Satisfied? No, another. <laughs> another. Give me more. <laughs> Now you're just looking at the same ones you've read before. What is wrong with you? All right. This was one reception desk, but now the most appropriate thing for it is to receive. For it to receive would be a free trip to the dump. Uh, in general, this is a door. More specifically, it's the door to the general's office. Even more specifically, it's the locked door to the general's office. Ah, I don't have a lock. I don't have a, le a needle. Looks like there's still s some good mess left. Take it. Bless this mess. You got military-grade whiskey and a hard tech. And hard tech. Not a hard tech. This is a special kind of government whiskey designed for soldiers in the field. It's fortified with all types of all sorts of vitamins. Uh, and all and things, and can be used in a pinch to sterilize, or at least make the victim feel better about a barrel, a battle wound, increase your muscle moxie and mysticality for by one for the rest of the day. Cool. Hard tack. This cracker is definitely optimized for shelf life instead of taste. Increase your armor by five for the rest of the day. Okay, I'm gonna eat this. Check out the rest of the place. Fight those goblins, and then end the episode. You eat the hard tack. That was hard. Covered is bare. It's also not really a cupboard. Spice rack. Ooh. Shaker of salt, Peter. Little green unlabeled jars. Hopefully this is the stuff the chef was looking for. This is the subject of the classic, classic comedy bit at the Last Supper. Stove is beyond cleaning. Blech. Okay. Okay. Can I fix these chair? this chair? Dang it. Whatever. Alright. I'm much more powerful as a person. Hopefully. Summon a Vian Golem to fight with you. It will not end your turn. Can I... Amoxius Goblin. Amoxius Goblin. A tough looking goblin. Foo. Bean golem. And then I want to attack you with my saber. Yep. Uh, Crazy Pete will also attack you. No. Ooh, you missed. Ow. Oh my gosh. Whoa, okay, nine damage. Hit him. Uh, I'm assuming the bean's gonna get that guy on the next one. Or either one, really. Dead. <laughs> okay, this is going a lot better than last time. You've heroically defeated the sleeping goblins who were guarding their beds. Head into the tent. Uh, foul smelling cot. Footlocker is empty. It's an unlocked footlocker. I guess that makes it a footer. Open the footer. Uh, hard tack, chemical bullet, and full canteen. What's chemical bullet? Oh, chemical bullet. Duh. In addition to lead, this bullet is made with a substance that is highly poisonous when it gets into your blood. Uh, this y item is used in combat. Poisons an eminem, an eminem, an eminem, an enemy. Cool, full canteen. This is some very old water in a very old canteen. Drinking it would probably give you tet tetanus, 
which was discovered very recently. This item is used in combat. Puts out fires. Cool. Uh, locked. Okay. Lock on this footlocker is rusted weighed. Almost nothing. Kick it open. Chemical bullet. Incendiary bullet. In incendiary, yeah. This bullet is made with an extra flammable gunpowder. This item is used in combat. Sets an enemy on fire. And silver bullet. Cool and smooth as a mountain stream propelled by gunpowder through the flesh of your enemies. This item is used in combat. Deals extra damage against cows and other demonic creatures. <laughs> Got it. Must be a math tent. This caught and soaked in blood. Uh, based on the papers and autonom anatomical diagrams scattered across the surface, it's, you're guessing this desk belonged to Fort Cowardice's nurse. Look at the papers. Uh, mostly just boring medical records, dental data or good I'm not going to read all that. Uh, wait. Hey, wait, what's this? Looks like it might be important. Marching orders. Look at the diagrams. They're just a bunch of disgusting drawings of sliced open bodies. All right. Um, the shelf still has some unlooted medical supplies. Render them looted. I got an army field trauma kit, military grade whiskey, and I can't craft. This safe is labeled controlled substances. This must be where they store the really effective stuff. Crack the safe requires safe cracking. I don't have safe cracking. Uh, this kit is this kit only contains materials for treating physical trauma. For the mental kind, you're better off sticking to whiskey. Cool. Restores 10 HP. Okay, we're going to check out this last tent. This sign has the goblin word for toilet on it. This is, that sign says toilet in goblin, which makes it pretty likely that goblins use this tent as a toilet. No way you're going in there. It's an unusually sized cannonball. Take it. Demi Colvarin. <laughs> Yikes, this, mis this mishap definitely got somebody fired. This cannonball is made of, made to fit a demi-colverin, -col a cannon with bore diameter of 10 centimeters. No demi less, no demi more. That's really small. That is really small. Like, extremely small. It's 10 centimeters is, what, quarter of a foot? No, quarter. Third of a foot. Third, a foot 30. This is, this is about a foot. That's, that's tiny. That's tiny. That's like four inches. <laughs> that's like, that's so small. <laughs> All right. Oh, dang it. Okay. Um, we will continue in the next episode because... We're at like 33 minutes. Yeah. Uh, continue in the next episode. There's no uh, whatever because... Yeah. Because uh, there's no editing. So there's not going to be a cool ending. It's just going to be a black screen with the stuff. So... Uh, hold on. Actually, let me fix this so I can move that. Right about here, there will be a thing that says subscribe. Do that. If I get 100 by December 1st, my friend is going to wax my legs. Uh, right here, it'll have the next West of Loathing episode when it comes out. If it's not out yet, it won't be anything. And right here is my most recent upload at the time which will of which this will be this one. Uh, or I guess the one before it, if that's how that works. I don't remember. Uh, but until... But then it'll show my most recent video. Anyways, thanks for watching. Have a nice day, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Did I have the audio off that whole time? Why did no one tell me? All right, well, sorry for the quiet video. <laughs> As you can tell, I need to get like sticky notes or something that say like what I need. To, okay, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna get a, get like sticky notes set, push it right there. And it so that every single time I start a video, it'll be like, okay, check that it's running, check that the audio that the video is on, check that the audio is on, because I forget to do at least one of those like every single time. So that's fun. Sorry, there was no game audio in this. Uh, 
you didn't get to hear the amazing music this entire time. This. Anyways, thanks for watching. Have a nice day. See you guys in the next episode. And stay, stay safe out there.